and welcome to Tween Tuesday. I'm Miss Cindy from the South Brunswick Public Library and today we are going to be DIYing some shoes. Um, if you saw my video from a few months ago, I have already showed you how to use permanent markers and alcohol to sort of make a tie-dye effect on a shirt. We're going to be taking that kind of one step further and doing it to a pair of shoes with a couple of extra steps to make it really blend and look a little more tie-dyed. So let's just get going with today's Tween Tuesday. Okay guys, we're gonna get started on our tie-dye shoes. Um, let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need shoes, obviously, plain canvas is usually best. Um, these are white, obviously, but you know, you can use whatever color you want. Just realize that the colors might not show up the same way that they're showing up on mine some permanent markers and alcohol. I put mine in a spray bottle because that's going to make it way, way easier. I would highly recommend getting a spray bottle for just like your regular household isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to move one of these out of the way. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to color all over it just a bunch and we're going to spray it down and that is going to cause the colors to run and create a sort of tie-dye effect. Now, I'm going to do it so that they are sort of galaxy, but obviously you can do it in whatever colors you want. Now, optionally, you might want to use painter's tape or masking tape, and that's if you want the base here, this rubber base, not to pick up um, the color from the dyeing. It might still pick it up a little bit at the top, and I'm not super worried about that, but I am going to mask off the bottom anyway, just because I think it'll make it look a little bit neater. So first thing you're going to do is take your tape. Again, masking tape, uh, painter's tape, um, whichever you have on hand is, is probably best. Some of you guys might find painter's tape like in a, in a toolbox or a shed or a garage or something like that, since it's usually a sort of um, hardware item that you know, your parents or, you know, you might have used if you were painting. Okay, now we're going to get to part one of the fun part, which is actively doing the coloring. Like I said, I'm doing Galaxy, so I'm coloring mine with mainly blacks and blues and purples and some pink. And as you're soon going to be able to see, you don't need to be neat about it. Now here comes the fun part. We get to spray it down. What I like to do is I like to turn it and I'm doing this over a paper towel and you just spray. It's much better than pouring because you can really um, control how much alcohol you're getting on it, but it's more tedious than pouring because you have to, you know, go over it a bunch. So what I like to do is I like to spray kind of one section at a time and go over the next part give it a second to absorb Again, like I said, you could pour, 
And if you do, I'll show you just kind of a good idea. Um, so let's say you have the alcohol bottle. I would suggest taking a hand, possibly with a glove on it, because alcohol is, um, you know, it's very drying, and just kind of putting your thumb over it a little bit so that it doesn't come out as big. And it just kind of um, comes out in, in drops rather than in, in like one big stream. So if you do decide to do it that way because you don't have a spray bottle or you don't feel like putting in a spray bottle, that's fine. So, okay, I'm just going over all these pieces again. So now I'm going to grab my paper towels and start rubbing. So I'm actually going to be using a baby wipe to rub it just because I found that they're a little bit more durable than a paper towel. But, you know, of course a paper towel would be just fine. There's absolutely no problem with using that instead. And what you want to do is just go in and rub. And you're going to get some on the paper towel. That's fine. That's, you know, that's the point. I like to go in kind of circular motions just because I find that that does a good job of spreading. Okay, so finish rubbing. I gave it a little bit of time and I did the other one as well. And now they are both done. Now, as an optional extra step, I'm going to take this silver permanent marker that I have and just kind of draw stars every once in a while. If you have white paint, you could do that too. If I figured the silver would be okay, it's not going to show up everywhere, obviously, but there we go. It'll be nice enough all together with just kind of a couple random stars scattered throughout. All right, you guys, so that is it for me on today's Tween Tuesday, but I will see you guys with a new craft or activity next time. Bye.